I want to tell a story that just dear to my heart and funny and sad. And I was reading in the last VFW it showed the warriors that have been killed in the Afghan war for the last 10 years. And I was in the Vietnam War and I didn't really participate in the ground war. But what I did do was watch people come into my life. I really liked them and then they would disappear from my life. And I didn't ever knew where they went. They just went on assignment somewhere and they would never appear again. And this is about one of them and something that was really cool for me. I've always loved the Marines. I'm a Navy person. I was a Navy lieutenant and I love the Marines. The Marines have been the coolest people for me in where I participated. I participated at Pensacola where you got the best of the Marines going in to learn how to be aviators. And I became friends with many of them, loved them as persons, loved their esprit de corps. Always, always I love that. Well, this is one story where I had some special opportunities. We were on the Enterprise and I was at duty there and it was a break from Vietnam. And we were sitting in the city of Alangapo, which is a pretty bad place in the Philippines. And I was sitting at the bar because I went in and I had my uniform on because I wasn't going to go into town. And I was going went to the, the what they, they call it, a O club, officers club. And I was drank there and I was a little tipsy and in comes my best buddy, Marine, on the Enterprise because he and I just became friends. His name was Chapman. And his dad had the distinction of being the Commandant of the Marine Corps. Well, he and I just started playing around, talking and everything, and then he, I said, he said, I'm going into town. Come on with. I looked and I said, I can't go into town. Officers, naval officers wearing uniform cannot go into town where they're wearing their uniform. He says, well, Marine officers can. I said, oh, well, I'm not a Marine officer. Let's see if we can handle that. So he had his stuff, so he went and put his civvies on, took his uniform on, because he had his civvies. And then he took the Marine emblem off. I took my Navy emblem off. He put, we put a Marine emblem on our caps. I had brown shoes and I got away with them. And I, then he gave me his belt buckle. I had a marine belt buckle. <laughs> and then the lieutenants and the marines have different angles where they have their, their bars. So we put them on a different way. And so he, he looked at me, he looked down, he says, you'll pass. <laughs> so we started walking down. And we got to the gate and I was sure this Marine sentry would pick out a Navy man. No way. I got the best salute I've ever had in my life. That was absolutely a miracle to me. Getting, not getting a sloppy Navy salute. I got this really cool salute. Well, we went into a long pole. And I wouldn't do anything wrong or mess around because I was wearing their uniform. But I went in, we had a few beers, talked, walked down the street a little, came back. And we went back in 
and I got that perfect salute again and I was so proud and there I was a marine captain for three whole hours thank you